Hi everyone, it's Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils. So today I thought I'd show you uh, one of the makes that we did recently on Create and Craft using the beautiful new poinsettia stamp. It's our, from our Christmas 2022 release um, and it's one of the new stamps from Designs by Amelia. So we've got a piece of cardstock and it's approximately, uh, if I remember rightly, 17 and a half by uh, 12 uh, centimeters. So I'm just using my stamp plate. I'm using VersaFine Clear and I've got my clear embossing powder ready. I've got one of the, sta uh, the stamp from the collection. So it is going to just go approximately roughly about halfway so we're stamping and pick it up what i have forgotten to do is anti-static but that's fine because i'm using clear embossing powder it's not too bad uh, you won't really see any little flecks but i would say if you're using black then possibly use uh clear embossing first so gentle taps lovely and we're going to pop it down, I'm trying to remember to keep it in shot for you. Underneath my cardstock, I have a piece of paper because I am overhanging my um, image over my card. So with gentle taps all the way around and lift up. Yep, I'm quite happy with that. So I've got a bit of cardstock here. I've got my 8 by 8 blank, so popping it in. And all I'm going to do is clear embossing powder. I always tend to use clear embossing powder on black ink because if I did it the other way, use the clear embossing, pa uh, clear embossing pad and black embossing powder, you can guarantee I am going to get flecks. So gentle taps. I'm going to pop that over at the way I've got heat gun. And I'm getting it up to its highest and straight in. So I'm going underneath and on top until it starts cooking. And again, this is wow clear embossing powder and it really is a good um, product. I use a lot of it. There we go, quite happy with that. Fabulous. Pop that out the way. And lovely. So what I've done is I have created, if I can find it, I've created a little mask. So it's quite easy, it's quite an easy image to cut out. And what you do is stamp on um a mask sheet sometimes you get them in rolls as well um, and then cut on the inside of the image and that way you're going to get a nice stamped image then so we are moving out of the way and I'm taking them slightly over I'm just going to plonk down so it doesn't move when I put it on there and yeah, I think that will work for me. Lovely. So making sure with my magnets, it's not shifting anywhere. And I'm going to ink up gentle taps. They're really good quality stamps. Um, very deep stamps as well as so. are. And we're going to gentle walk it over, especially in the area where the mask is. Making sure it's nicely connected with my cardstock fabulous happy with that now i am going to have to move my mask and replace it again so i'm moving and then go back in with my embossing powder and just gently remember to stay in shot loo fabulous tapping out the way and then pop that out Back in again. I do apologise, I do keep forgetting 
to stay in shot. Again, really happy with that. Pop it down and again. So we are going again with our third one. Lovely. I'm just going to pop a couple of magnets down just so it stays. A little mask again. Just find which way it hooks up. Leave. Come on, Lou. There it is. It's playing with me. It's more this area over here that I need it to be good. Okay, what are we like? Hmm. Let's just move up a little bit. Let's see what we've got. No. So I'm just going to move it down. And that way I just get a different look on the card without having to mess around too much. Just moving it. I think that might work for us. Let's give it a go. It's a bit of card. So we're inking up, making sure nicely inked. And we're gently walking over. So I'm also using one of the words from the Merry and Bright um, set. So we're just walking. Perfect. Okay, so we get rid of your magnets. Barbulous. Lovely. Get rid of my mask. And remember to cover yourself with embossing powder. Try not to get too many inky fingers. I'm just tapping out the way. I'll sort the little inky mark on that in a minute and I'm again making sure I've cooked all my lovely embossing powder. Always warm up your heat gun before you go to it and that way you avoid messing with your card, bending your card too much. So I've got a couple of little marks on there and it's only because of my splodgy fingers. So this is a little ink eraser. It's a Tombow 512A. Um, good craft shops are really good. Um, sorry, good stationery shops are really good. Um, just have a little look, do a little search and you'll find it on internet. But I recommend everybody has one in their stash. Um, lovely Eileen Godwin. She hooked me onto these. And it's, I have to say, a game changer. It really is. So I'm moving my mask out of the way. And what I need is, now I've got rid of my splodge, is I need one of my little words. So I'm just moving that stamp to clean my stamp off later. I'm just going to clean my fingers. Right, so get that out of the way, and fab. So I am going to use from the Merry and Bright set. Magnets have a life of their own, I swear. Lovely. So Hopefully, 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 I may have got, I do believe I've got that straight first time. I am very surprised by that. I'm normally at a wonk 
So we're gentle tap, tap, taps. Happy. I'm not going to emboss this one. All I want is it stamped. Walking, making sure it sinks into the cardstock. The cardstock I'm actually using is the Multifarious from Lavinia Stamps. It is a really good stamping cardstock, I have to say. Um, pop that to one side and pop that to one side. Pinky fingers, get rid of them. Goodness me, Lou. Get your off. Lovely. Okay. So let's just check we're not got any splodges. There we go. Right. So what we've got is we've got a little matte layer. Pop that out. So before I put my colour on in my centre, I tend to always do my mat and layer if I can. Now on the original, I have a little set of um, gems. Like everybody, I have gems in my stash that I have had for years and years, waiting for that one project that it needs to have. Um, and it, so happened that I found these tiny, tiny little gems. Where I got them from, I don't know. Um, I've been crafting about 16 years, but what you can do is you could use a little glitter um, pen or you could use um, stickles or just colour them in. Or if you're like, like me and you've got a few gems left, exactly what you can do and you know I'll need another few gems at some stage so I'm now on the lookout for tiny 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 gems so we have a little uh, gold glitter jelly roll pen that I'm just Filling in my little poinsettias and then once it's dry, if you still want dimension, just go over the top with glitter glue, uh, not glitter glue, glue, with glossy accents and that will give you the dimension. So that's the one I've done, that's my nice flat dry one and there you go. And that's it. That is as easy as it can be.